the same thing. Delete this comment field. Now change the name, get button, add file. Get button, add book. Get button, save. Get button, save and quit. All right. Now let's go back to our library system class. This should be a save this. What's going on? We did get browse button in second. Oh, we call it get button browse. Just delete that. Get button, and you see we have all our methods here. Button browse. Now let's say save. No, let's just put browse for now. So now if we run our application. As you can see, none of whenever we click something else besides the browse, nothing will happen. Why? Because the event is not coming from the browse button. So we're not doing anything. But if we click our browse button, it's just going to exit our system. Delete this, <clears throat> and we're just going to create the skeleton for it. I'm just going to say uh, else if we're going to create a lot a bunch of else ifs else if and event dot get source equals equals abp dot the other buttons get button uh, add file we're going to do it in order so get but browse add file then add books to the library, then save, and save and quit. I mean, it doesn't need to be in order. I just like to do it that way. <clears throat> and we're just going to copy and paste this. Let's see, we have three more buttons, so copy and paste it three more times. One, two, three. And the last time is just an else. No, no, it's still an else if. Control Shift F for format, and just change these methods. Button add file. Delete the parentheses. Get button. Uh, yeah, add book. Delete the parentheses because we already have it there. Save button, get button save. Get button save and quit. <clears throat> and now we're just gonna do the same thing for uh for our browse library panel, the exact same thing. So uncomment this out. We need to create the method for this. So go ahead and open up in your view, open up browse library panel. Again, copy the buttons, the name of the buttons. Copy. And go all the way down. <coughs> Public. We need to uh, set the action listeners first to those uh, button objects. As a matter of fact, just paste the buttons first. Public's going to take in an action listener. No, it's, sorry. Public, the return type is void. It's not going to return anything. Add action listener. I'm going to take an action listener. A.
x this out dot add action listener a again this becomes tedious oh, import this it becomes tedious once you get used to it it becomes uh, systematic so just copy and paste this how many ever uh, buttons you have one two three four copy and paste four times one two three four Oh, I'm sorry, I don't know why I... Don't cut it for now, because we're going to need these again. Just copy, all right, copy this, paste it here. Copy, paste. Copy, paste. Copy, paste. Oh, and we seem to be missing one more button. No, that's it. No, yeah, we're missing one more button. Hold on one moment. Oh, we're missing the button, save and quit. Let's copy that. And again, paste that in our comment field here. Copy. And then we're going to add one more. Dot add action listener A. All right. <clears throat> Let's just move the, this comment field, cut it. Paste it here. And now we're going to create the getters for this class. So public return type is J button get button open book and we're just going to return the open book button copy no now we can cut it paste oh this needs to be capital J button yeah now just copy and paste this one, two, three, four, five times. One, two, three, four, five. Change the name to get of our second getter to get delete get button delete book. And cut this paste it here and it's very systematic again do the same thing open file cut as a matter of fact just copy delete file and paste it here and then cut the whole thing, paste it as the return so that it's you know, much faster that way. So again, do it without without including the B for the method name. Again, for the last one, save and quit. Copy. Then cut this and delete this comment field. Just paste that here. Now we have all of the methods that we need. We're never going to touch our browse library panel again and our add book panel again unless we're adding some other features. But for now, it's done. So close that. So we shouldn't be getting an error here anymore because we created the method now. And now we're just going to do the same thing. <clears throat> we're actually going to... So we're actually going to go back to our browse library panel. And again, just copy and paste our J buttons, the names of them. Put them on a comment field here for now. Then let's continue with our else if, because again, all of these, the, uh, the add book panel and the browse book panel buttons are sharing the same action listener. So the same action performed is going to fire whenever any of the buttons are clicked. So again, we need to detect which buttons are being clicked. 